When talking about the use of T-90 main battle tanks during a special military operation, vehicles of the latest M modification are usually mentioned. At the same time, earlier models belonging to version A are also fighting against neo-Nazis. Recently a video shot by a drone appeared on social networks, showing a 90th, equipped with red eyes, the Shtora optical electronic suppression complex that neutralizes some guided anti-tank ammunition. In addition, according to some reports, it has a breakwater system, which jams the guidance channels of FPV drones. A visor. A special protective screen was installed on the roof of the tower, and a rutted mine trawl was installed to make passages in minefields. It is reported that the tank belongs to the 255th Regiment, and it operated in the Mariinsky direction. During his departure, under fire from militants of the Kyiv regime, he blew up several surprises planted by the enemy in the ground. At the same time, its 125mm cannon sent one shell after another at enemy positions, and a coaxial 7.62mm mortar also worked. The militants tried to hit the T-90A with an anti-tank guided missile, but they failed. After this, the fearless crew, having successfully completed the task, covered themselves with an impenetrable aerosol cloud and returned to their location. The T-90 tank is a Russian main battle tank that has a distinctive feature of having red glowing eyes on its turret. These are actually infrared searchlights used for target illumination during night operations. They are not functional during the day, but they help the tank crew to acquire targets in low light conditions. These things are part of the SHTORA-1 active protection system, which disrupts laser rangefinders of guided anti-tank missiles. It should be noted that the SHTORA-1 isn't just mounted on the T-90 but also the T-80 and T-84 MBTs as well. The system uses two interface stations each mounted on the side of the gun, which gives it the two eyes look. Putting it simply, they're basically just disruptors for guided anti-tank missiles. The T-90 tank is a modernized version of the T-72 tank and incorporates several advanced features. Here are some key features and characteristics of the T-90 tank. The T-90 features composite and modular armor, including composite and explosive reactive armor era, providing enhanced protection against various threats such as kinetic energy projectiles, shaped charges, and missiles. The main armament of the T-90 is a 125mm smoothbore gun capable of firing a variety of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot, APFSDS, rounds, high-explosive anti-tank, heat, rounds, and anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs. Tank is equipped with an advanced fire control system that includes a ballistic computer, laser rangefinder, and thermal imaging sites. This enables accurate targeting and engagement of enemy vehicles, even in low visibility conditions. Some variants of the T-90 are equipped with an active protection system, APS, called STORA, which helps in countering anti-tank guided missiles by disrupting their laser designators or laser beam riding guidance systems.
The T90 is powered by a V92S2F diesel engine, which provides a high power-to-weight ratio and enables the tank to attain speeds of up to 60 km per hour, 37 miles per hour, on roads and around 45 km per hour, 28 miles per hour, off-road. It also has good cross-country mobility and can traverse various terrains. The tank has a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver. The crew is provided with NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical, protection, and the tank's interior is equipped with spall liners to reduce the effects of projectile fragments. In addition to the main gun, the T-90 is equipped with a coaxial machine gun, usually 7.62 mm, and a roof-mounted anti-aircraft machine gun, usually 12.7 mm. These provide close defense capabilities against infantry and low-flying aircraft. It's worth noting that different variants and export versions of the T-90 may have additional features or variations in their specifications, as per the requirements of the respective countries. The T-90 can engage low-flying aircraft and helicopters using its roof-mounted anti-aircraft machine gun. It provides a limited air defense capability to protect the tank and nearby friendly forces from aerial threats. The T-90 tank has amphibious capabilities, allowing it to traverse bodies of water such as rivers and lakes. It is equipped with a deep wading equipment and a snorkel system, enabling it to cross water obstacles and maintain mobility during river crossings. The T-90 tank has seen combat in various conflicts, including the Chechen wars and conflicts in the Middle East. It has demonstrated its effectiveness in armored warfare and has been praised for its capabilities. Overall, the T-90 tank combines advanced firepower, protection, and mobility, making it a formidable main battle tank on the modern battlefield. Its continuous upgrades and export success highlight its popularity and effectiveness in armored warfare.